let's move on to the next topic and we're going to talk about Hyung Min Son and um, you know in the WhatsApp group aren't we we got Josh and David Harris going head to head on this topic all the <laughs> time uh, we're going to start off with UK and it's about whether should Son be playing on the left or as a striker because he has struggled in the last couple of games um on the left, he struggled as well a bit this season, but there was that game against Newcastle where he absolutely tore Trippier a new one. But I think the stats speak for itself that he is still an unbelievable number nine in certain games. But where do you think he should be playing, Kate? Do you know, it's so hard because, you know, Sonny's missed the Tottenham and, you know, everyone loves Sonny because... And, and, and to be fair, me included, none of us want to sort of acknowledge that he's getting older and he's not going to be here forever. <laughs> no, he's not. Sonny's he's still 18. <laughs> he's he's getting, getting older. younger. Did exactly. you, not the, did you not get the memo? He's getting younger. <laughs> I mean, it, we, I think it's fair to say that against the low block, Sonny as a striker is, is the worst possible option because he just cannot make any sort of impression on the game at all. But when Richarlison's out... Um, and I'm not saying Richarlison is the answer either, but I think Sonny plays better on the left with with a striker like Richarlison. Obviously, the, 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 the partnership he had with Harry Kane is something we'll probably never see again, unfortunately. They knew where the other one always was, you know, they created space for one another. And I think Son's recently looking a little bit lost. I just feel the front three, no matter which three we play, I just don't think there's any communication between the three of them. When Sonny was playing with Solomon, we started to see a little bit of a partnership building up there and then Solomon got injured. And since then, I think the whole front three looks really disjointed. So I'm not sure how we resolve that. Like I say, when it's not a low block, I quite like Sonny as a striker. But when when it's a low block team, he's got to be on the left. But again, Richarlison's been injured, so we haven't had that opportunity. But yeah. I think it's, I've, I've seen people saying we should cash on him, cash in on him now, and sell him to the Saudis um, over the past few days. I think it's bonkers. I think this fan base is so reactionary when it comes to to our players. Like, cash in on Richarlison or Son? You're talking about Son. Son. I'm talking ah. about Sonny. Yeah. Nah. Um, you, you know, his it's stats. His it's, it's stats show he's still a phenomenal player. It's everybody's learning where they need to be and Angie's trying to find out where people play best and it is a learning season I think everyone just needs to calm down but the front three as I say as a whole I just feel that they're not communicating very well and maybe that's because they've been chopped and changed a lot I don't know but um, personally I think Sonny would work better on the left and uh, if we had a really good striker in the middle so come the North London derby in just under two weeks' time, are you starting Sonny on the left? And let's say Rash if let's say if Richarlison's back, are you starting Sonny on the left? Yeah, purely because I think we need Richarlison's physicality. I think we need his height, and I think we need a bit of his uh, needle as well, um, winding up the the gooners. <laughs> and like I say, if it if it doesn't work, um, it can be switched. You know, Ange made changes at <coughs> half time and. It can be moved about. But for me personally, that is how I would start it off. Because I think Richie offers, like I say, I'm not a huge Richie fan, but he, he works his bits off. He's everywhere on that pitch. He's up, I'm not going to swear, he's up there defending, he, he's attacking, he's working hard. Plus, he brings that little bit of fire to the game. He knows how to win a foul. And uh, he's got the physical presence, the height. So, yeah, personally, that is how I would start the game but as I say I'm not sitting here saying that Richarlison is the answer I'm just going with what we have available to us at the moment yeah no I get that and I think it's spot on like I've been saying that uh, over the course of the season that it's horses for courses right against a low block you probably want a Richarlison there against someone that plays a bit higher Sonny running in behind is the perfect guy to have in that uh, position but Josh, I mean, you've been very adamant that Son should only play number nine for us uh, in the WhatsApp group. Has these last two games or last couple of games changed your mind at all? A little bit, you know. I'm a, I'm a little <laughs> bit lost in it. <laughs> a little bit lost in it. I still believe that Sonny is the best option against good teams mm. um, where we have space. Um, and I think the problems with Sonny you still get on the left wing anyway. Like, as in, the problems with him not... I, I know people say, oh, he can't bully defenders and hold up the ball or whatever, but you still want your left winger be a, to be able to hang on to the ball um, and play intricate 
um, football when when we're against low blocks. And he, 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 that's not his game either. He's literally running behind score, like amazing finisher. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think he's going to do well that well on the left against the low block teams that we've been facing anyway. Um, so yeah, it's sad to say, but I, I just think like either, my plan next season, if I was in charge, is I, I would get two new wingers, yeah, and have Son rotating with uh, a new striker. That's, that's what Pessy I would in, do. Pessy in, <laughs> um, and have you know Sonny against teams that are going to press us, um, and let him get some minutes on the left wing if we need to, like whatever, he's the captain. But also, he's going to be another year older, so we need to start managing his minutes anyway. So maybe Sonny doesn't start all the time next next season. So I'd keep Sonny. I'm never saying... I, I want him to sign a contract for as long as he wants and stay here forever. I love Sonny. But um, I don't think any of them are up to the task, basically. <laughs> I would I would sign two or three new attackers. Um, mm. What are you doing? If, well, well, I guess the question is for the next game, going the next few games... Is Sonny going back to the left or are you playing him up front? I'd, I'd probably play him up front. I, it's funny because in the WhatsApp group I said, oh, we should bring Richie back in for Arsenal. Um, so I was on Kate's side, but then Sim kind of turned me around again and made me think, <laughs> actually, like, Sonny should get chances through the middle against Arsenal. Um, and I, I think, yeah, I, I think I'd play him through the middle. The thing is... I don't want to play Werner. <laughs> so, so, because I could just see Werner missing like open goals. And it's like, although Werner, although Werner um, contributes a lot, he, if he's on the pitch, he's the one that the chances are going to fall to. So I wouldn't even be opposed to. Do you remember early in the season when we were playing uh, Liverpool? And did we do it against Arsenal as well, where Rich, Richarlison was on the left? Was it, I know I we think... did it against Liverpool. We didn't know against, against Liverpool. Arsenal, didn't Richarlison Brennan. come on? Brennan played on the left. Yeah, Brennan Arsenal. started and went off injured, didn't he? Yeah. And then Solomon came on. But who, and then Solomon came but, on, yeah. But there was two games where we played Richie on the left. Yeah, yeah Fulham at home. There was Fulham at home. Richie got two assists, I think, or one assist. He assisted Sonny in the yeah. centre. Uh, I can't remember who else. Liverpool. And his sister was Liverpool. Um, I, honestly, there was a little Richie period. There was a little period, yeah. I'd play Richie on the left and let it was them uh, Crystal it Palace away working. as well. Oh yeah, yeah, and so like if, I'd let them swap it out if it's not working, um, and then put Sunny wide and whatever. But at least if they're on the same pitch, they can rotate and confuse and stuff like that. So mm. I'd, I'd play Richie, um, Johnson, and uh, Son through the middle. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at those next three games: Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. I mean, those are the games where you want Son down the middle. That, mm. Those are the games yeah. where we're going to have spaces for yeah. us, teams that play a high line. I mean, how many goals? Son scored two at the Emirates this season, consistently yeah. scores against Liverpool. There's Chelsea side as well uh, under Pochettino. We all know how they like to play as well. So surely these next three games is going to be Son's bread and butter in the number nine, right, Sim? 100%. Um, the problem is he's in such... He's not in great form in that position. We played Newcastle away, he was terrible. Fulham away, he was terrible. West Ham away, he was terrible. So if you're a fan judging him on his previous, on his form, basically in that position, you, you I, I don't blame fans for saying, for thinking, well, he has to come out of that position. Look how he's been playing the last few games. You can't take him out the number nine. He, you know, he's not. it's not working for him in the number nine. But I think if you were to take him out of the number nine with these games coming up, it would be a big mistake because, as, as you say, these are the games he's going to get the space. These are the games he thrives on. He's such a big game player. And, you know, he got two goals at the Emirates. He scored against Liverpool at the Tottenham Stadium. He always scores against City playing in the number nine. He scored at the Etihad early in the season playing in the number nine as well. Um, these are the get, And especially these teams, all going for the title they're going to need the wins as well they're not going to come and sit back against Don because they need to win those games the draw's not good enough so I do think Son's going to get chances and these are the games he absolutely loves and thrives on so these are the games you need him in the number nine not just one I think we need him there I think if these teams are coming up against us and are pushing up a bit and we, and we have Richarlis in the number nine we're, they're going to be way too easy to pen us in and we're not going to have the outball of Sonny running in behind and that pace we need um, so I think for these games, we need Son in the nine. Maybe for games against Burnley, Sheffield United, um, potentially, you can put him on the left, bring Rishi in, and maybe there, there'll be more avenues for goals there. Um, 
I just feel like in these game, in these big, big games um, against the top three, these are games you need Sonny up front. He's a, he's a big game killer. I think he's the top goal scorer against the top five this season um, out of anyone. Um, yeah, he because, is. Because, well. Yeah, because of how effective he is in these games. Um, he, th- he thrives off these games. So I think it would be a mistake to go off form to move him out of that position um, yeah. going into these also, games. Also, I'm not being funny here, but like before these last three games, I think we probably all would have been in agreement saying Son is one of, if not the best number nine in the Premier League right now with the way the amount of goals he's scoring. You look at the record of games he's played number nine to assists and goals. It was just unbelievable stats. And now he's had a f- couple of bad performances along with a team that's had bad performances. It's not just him, it's the whole team that have been performing poorly over the last couple of games. So do you not think maybe Kate or Josh, whoever wants to take this one that the fan base including us maybe have been a bit reactionary with son in the number nine yeah okay. yeah. yeah i think you're probably right i mean to be fair sonny does love to score against the gooners so you know we it's hard like i say it's hard because you do look at form and and when you see a player go off form it's one of those things do you carry on playing them into form or do you take them out the team but with sonny it's difficult he's our captain like i say he's mr spurs um, you know, I, I think this is it. this is the sort of game I believe that if Sonny's going to change his form, it, this is the sort of game he'll turn up at. He's a, you know, he's a big game player. He, he's, like I say, he's been brilliant as captain this year. So yeah, have faith in, in Sonny. I'm sure he'll turn it round. But I do think that fans, um, you know, are reactionary. We've seen it. You know, like everybody piling onto Timo. You know, it's just everyone's looking for someone to blame as to why things go wrong. And I get it, and I get it, but Sonny's got a lot of credit in the bank. So, you know, call it sentimentality or whatever you want to call it. I just think Son, you never he's the sort of player that can come up, come on or start a game and change a game instantly. You know, he's going to set the pace and set the tone. And, uh, yeah, so I do think we can be a bit reactionary. I'm not not going to lie. And I'm guilty of it as well. And also, it's probably <laughs> bit, there's so much more pressure on, on Son than maybe other attackers at other clubs. Like, Son is just so far and away our, like, biggest goal or, uh, goal uh, output um, in the forward line. It's like when he has an off day, everyone focuses on him. Like, if he's having an off day, it's not working for him, then that's a big problem. Like, Haaland's had a few off days recently, but no one really talks about it, do they? Because they've got people like Foden scoring hat-tricks. They've got other players filling in. It feels like with Sonny, if he's not getting in the score sheet, then we struggle to score. And that's that's a big that's not a problem with Sonny, that's a problem with us as a club. Straight away the narrative is oh he's not good enough for number nine anymore. I was like and then he on the left it'll be the same. Like if he has a bad performance on the left, oh he's not a left winger no more, put him at number nine. Yeah. Like he is literally the best left winger and the best number nine at his club. And I think he's good at both roles. Um the but I just is, pr- I just gone- prefer him in the number nine. We've gone from being Harry Kane FC to Son FC now because we're completely reliant on Son to score our goals. So, yeah. you know, we, we've kind of just moved the responsibility across. Yeah, it's so true. Um, but look, we'll see what happens. Let's hope he does. I, I back him to get back to full form in these next three games um, where he can really find that space in behind. 